Hi, it's Paul. Today I'm going to program a set of cooling valves. You can see in the photo here I've got a set of valves. There's a drain valve down here at the bottom, the main cooling valve, and then up here I've got these two little guys. One is for trim water and one is for air. The air presses the or pushes the water through the cooling coil. Now I'm just going to focus on these two valves here at the first. And there's two stages for this cooling. The first stage is the air is open and the water pulses on and off. And then the second stage is they're both open. So I'm going to start with that first stage. And I'll start by opening a new project. And the first thing I always do is set up my I.O. So I'll read my I.O. configuration. And that's done. Now my I.O. is all set. And I'm going to save my project. So I'll call this demo. OK. Well, the first thing I need is I want to set up a, a set of timers. And I'll use those timers to pulse the, that valve on and off. So I'll add a couple rungs, and I'll put a timer on each rung. My first timer is T4, colon 0. And that'll be my on timer. And my second one is T4 colon 1. That'll be my off timer. I'm going to change my time base to 1 hundredths of a second. That way we can see the timer running. And I'll put a preset of 100 in each. What I want to do is I want this first timer to go on for one second, and that'll energize my, my output. And then my next timer will go on for one second where the output's not energized. So to link these two timers, I'm going to use the done bit from each timer to start the other timer. And to do that, now if I if I just put in normally open contacts, that'll work for the second timer. So I'll put in my T4 colon 0 dot done. And I don't need a description there. But if I do that for the first timer, the first timer is never going to start because the second timer hasn't finished yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it normally closed in there. This is a little trick with timer pairs. Those will be T4 colon uh, 1 dot done. So the reason this works is to start with, the second timer is not finished, and so this will be hot, and that's going to enable the first timer. After the first timer finishes, the input for the second timer will go hot, and the second timer will run. And then what's going to happen is the done bit from the second timer up here will cause this input to go cold, and that's going to reset the first timer, which resets the second timer, and then the sequence is going to start all over again. So let's see if that actually works. I'll download my program. I don't want revision notes right now. Okay, and we can see from the timers that the first guy runs for a second, and then the second guy runs for a second. And then they, they reset each other, and then it does it again. So that's going well. Let's go back offline. And now I need to set up some outputs for my two valves. So I'm going to use my lights on my panel here, so I'll use 
zero and one for my two vowels. So this will be V1, and that'll be my trim water. And this guy will be V2, and that'll be my trim air. Okay, now I need a I need a couple more rungs and some outputs. And for this first guy, this is going to be my my trim water I want to pulse. So I'll put that guy there. Oops. And my trim error, I'll put on this output. Okay, and to for now, I'm just going to have my trim error output come on. But for my trim water, I want to use the timer timing bit on this first timer, my on timer, to energize that guy. So this will be T4 colon zero dot timer time. Okay, let's see how that works. And so this is my air valve, which is on all the time, and this is my water valve, which is pulsing on and off. So that's good. That's all working. And I'll go offline. Now I want something to control it with. So I'm going to use these. This first one will be my, my pulsing water and air, and this will be my, my steady on. So I need a couple of inputs. Now this guy is wire four, so that'll, I'll just call it my B1 for button one, and that'll be, and my number five, well, I don't want to call it prestige cooler. Yeah, I do. And five, call it B2, and that'll be my second stage cooling. Okay, so I want to be able to energize both of these guys, so I'll put a normally open contact at the front of each. And there's my first stage. Oops. Now when I push this button, I should start my first stage cooling. So let's download it and see if it works. And it works. When I call for first stage cooling, I get one valve on all the time and one valve pulsing. Okay, that's the first part of it. Now the second stage cooling, what I need to happen is it will actually activate first stage for two seconds and then it will go into uh, solid on. So when I call for second stage cooling, I get the air valve open, the water valve is going to pulse for a couple seconds, and then they're going, going to go full on. So I'm going to actually change my duration down to half a second. And I need another timer. So I'll, I'll put all my timers together at the top. 
because I need a timer to go for two seconds. So this is my T4 colon 2. And this is my, I'll call it my delay timer. And my preset for that is going to be 200. To energize that timer, I need an input for my second stage cooling. And that's this guy. So my second stage cooling will start this timer. And while that timer is timing, I want to have this pulse going. So I need a branch around this guy, so I have a second way of activating that timer. So let's put a branch around that. And an input. And this is my T4 colon two dot timer timing. So now there's two ways to turn on this pulsing water. First is if we call for first stage cooling, or if my second stage delay timer is running, then it'll also pulse the water. And then I need this trim water to go on steady. So I'm going to put another branch down here, and that'll go right around this whole business. And I'll put my input, and this is my, I need my done bit from that timer. So if I put my second stage cooling as an input, it would just come on right away. I want it to come on when this timer is finished. So this will be T4 colon 2 dot done. And then trim error, I also need my second stage to be able to turn that on. So I'll put another branch down here, put that around it, grab an input, and this is my uh, second stage cooling, so I'll copy that guy. Oops. There. Let's see if all that works. Okay, my timers are running. The first the first pair of timers are running and they're not doing anything because they're they're just running in the background. To run. When I push my first button, which should call for first stage cooling, then I get one valve flashing on and off, and I get one valve on steady. When I call for second stage cooling, I had my one valve flashing on and off for two seconds, and then it went on steady. So that's working. So let's take a look at how this works on the logic. I'll push my first one. So this goes hot here. And when my top timer gets a timer timing output, it allows that valve to go on. So my trim water's pulsing on and off. My trim air is on steady because I've got a complete circuit here. When I push my second stage, it starts this third timer, which is my delay. And during the delay, when the timer's timing, I get the pulsing water. So the circuit goes hot through here. After the delay, it just goes on. So everything's working there. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, all I need to do is do the same sort of scenario for my main cooling valve because with my main cooling valve I have a period of time when 
the water's pulsing on and off, and then I have a period of time where the water goes on steady. And I can use the same sort of strategy for that. Okay, thanks for watching.